all you cool cats and fine felines. It's Leah and Lynn. And today we're in Cleveland, Mississippi at Dockery Farms. Ooh. The legend of Dockery oh, Farms. Heard so, a lot about this place. So follow us and Lynn, what are we going to do? Get into the groove. That's right. Dockery Plantation, established by Will Dockery in 1895 and operated from 30, 1937 to 1982 by Joe Rice Dockery, included a post office, commissary, and cotton gin. The plantation once em employed Charlie Patton, a legendary blues musician who inspired such greats as Muddy Rodders, Robert Johnson, B.B. King, and the king of rock and roll. It's so windy through here. It's it's almost like there was so much talent and energy that blew through here years ago. It's almost like it's still blowing. It's it, it's it's like the spirits are still singing and dancing and playing the blues. It's amazing. They have a guest book that you can sign. Here they have the marker, Birthplace of the Blues. The precise origin of the blues are, not, are lost to time, but one of the primal centers for the music of Mississippi was Dockery Farms. For nearly three decades, the plantations was intermittently the home of Charlie Patton, the most important early Delta blues musician. Patton himself learned uh, from fellow Dockery resident Henry Sloan and influenced many other musicians who came here including Howlin' Wolf, Willie Brown, Tommy Johnson, and Roebuck Pop Staples. So now, this is the stage. This is supposedly the stage. I'm gonna get up here. So, the most infamous of all the blues musicians that started here was Robert Johnson. And in between the sets of the experienced bluesmen, he would play. He would try to play. He would try to play. He would get booed. He sucked. Ooh, go away. <laughs> Hiss. Go away. Go away. Ooh. But he tried. He kept on trying. Even his dad, his dad told him he sucked. So one night, the urban legend is, he walked down that road into the night and disappeared for six months. slowly walking down the road, embarrassed, wanting to be as good as the bluesmen that played here. Legend has it, he went down to the crossroads, met with the devil himself, passed his guitar to the devil, the devil tuned his guitar, passed it back to him, and then apparently he came back and blew everyone away. They said he was so good that it must have been a supernatural thing. It must have, 
It must have come from somewhere, the devil himself, the devil himself somewhere else, because we are still talking about him today. His short life. He was 27 years old. Yeah, he was part of the 27 Club. And, and, and this is 2024. He passed away in what, 1936? And this was a black man in 1936 in Mississippi. And we're still talking about him to this day. He that's, is that that's important how, that's how good he was. to music history. I can't explain the way it feels out here. There really is something supernatural. It feels like it's just lurking at the edges of this place. Besides the hornet's nest over there. It's a magical, it's actually a bumblebee nest. Oh, bumblebee but nest. It's, um, it's a magical feel, it's a magical feeling. It is. <laughs> Almost like influential. It just makes me want to get out a pen and a piece of paper and write a song or something. And yeah. I'm not even a song. Amazing. Amazing the talent that was here. I'm so glad that we were able to bring you along with us. like a star, Lynn. Because I am a star. It's a good day to sell your soul, right? Any day is a good day to sell your soul. If you can play father. like that. There's even a Dockery Farms Baptist Church. Because you can't have blues without gospel. They said that Robert Johnson would practice in a cemetery and here's a cemetery right here. We don't know if it's the same cemetery, but... It's speculated it's, that it is. It's close, close enough to Dockery Farms that it may as well be. And straight down the road, about half a mile, we is what is believed to be the original crossroads where Robert Johnson sold his soul to the devil to play the guitar. So, we made it. It's an overcast day. This is supposedly the crossroads. There's one road that way. If you go down that road, that goes straight to Dockery Farms where we just came from. Then you got a road that way, and then there's a road that way. So imagine it's midnight, and Robert Johnson has just been laughed at, Day after day, he's just like, his, his confidence is at an all-time low. So he comes walking down this road, gets right here to this crossroads, right here. And the devil appears and says, for your soul, I'll teach you how to play that guitar like nobody else. And you will be famous and you'll never be laughed at again. So Robert hands him his guitar. Devil tunes it, plays a little ditty, hands it back to him, and a legend is born right here. Lynn, we're standing right, here. right where Robert Johnson stood, supposedly. At the, at the crossroads. At the crossroads. Okay, so thanks for coming on this little journey to Crossroads. Find the ghost of Robert Johnson. And so it's this has been a dream of ours for a long time. We did not sell our soul to the devil today. <laughs> we did Mom not. and Dad. <laughs> just just <laughs> to let you know. Um but if we did, what would you want? Mm, a long healthy life with the love of my life. World peace, yeah. A long healthy <laughs> life with my meow. So, Lynn, what do you think our viewers should do? If you like this video and Robert Johnson and the whole conspiracy theory behind it, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Atomic Hive. 
and you hit that notification bell so you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos that's right and we do that every week we're on on our way to new orleans now so there'll be lots of videos coming so sure. until then stay groovy yeah man and don't sell your soul to the devil unless Bye. it's for something really good <laughs>